The Tsar bomb was the biggest bomb ever dropped. It detonated with a yield of about 50 million tons of TNT and laid waste to the remote island the Russians had chose to test it on. But is 50 million tons of TNT a lot of energy? Well, a ton of TNT is equal to about 4 billion joules. So 50 million tons at 4 billion joules each is about 200 million billion joules or 200 with about 15 zeros after it joules well the average power consumption of mankind is about 10 terawatts that's 10 terajoules per second or 10 with 12 zeros after it joules per second so in about 2000 seconds mankind's entire energy production is comparable to a single czar bomb that's about five hours or so which sounds like a lot of energy until you compare it to something really powerful. When sunlight hits the earth, it delivers about a kilowatt, thousand watts per square meter. So when you look at the earth from the sun, what you see is a circle with radius of 6,000 kilometers. That's 6 million meters. That means the cross section that you're looking at here the area of this circle that you're looking at is pi r squared, which worked out to be about 1 to the power of 14 meters squared. And each one of those square meters is collecting about 1,000 watts of energy. So the power delivered from the sun to the earth is about 100 million billion watts. That's 100 million billion joules per second. Now that number might start to sound rather familiar because that's pretty close to the energy of the Tsar bomb. That is the Tsar bomb merely delivered as much energy as the sun delivers to the earth for about two seconds. In fact, if you were to take every rinky dinky little nuclear weapon that mankind has ever created to give himself a sense of power, it approximately stacks up to a, a paltry six and a half thousand megatons, equating to approximately the same energy as the sun provides to the earth for about two minutes. Every single nuclear weapon on earth is only the same energy as the sun delivers to the earth in two minutes. So the sun's delivering up 100 million billion watts of power to the earth, making an absolute mockery of mankind's entire power consumption. Mankind's power production is merely one part in 10,000 of the energy that the sun delivers to the earth. I mean, let me just show you that. So this is the power that the sun delivers to the earth. And this is one tenth of it, and this is one hundredth of it, which means that this is about one thousandth, and this is one ten thousandth. Yeah, long air I tally, lest I start a war I cannot win. I mean, let's just say, for sake of argument, that the greenhouse gases that we've put into the atmosphere merely increase the energy yield of the Earth by one part in a thousand. That's one tenth of a percent, almost nothing, barely detectable to the human eye. That's until you realize that merely one tenth of one percent increases the energy that the Earth is absorbing from the sun by about the same amount as 10 times the entire power production of mankind. Now, the Tsar bomb was the largest nuclear weapon ever detonated, but the Russians actually had some pretty lousy test footage of it that robs you of the true energy of such weapons. The Americans, however, also blew up some hydrogen bombs in the Castle test series, and they were only about 10 megatons, one fifth the size of the Russian bombs, but they had superb test footage that much better conveys the size and power of these things. The distance of the camera aircraft is 50 miles. The frame size of the picture is 14 by 18 miles. The film is running at normal speed. Camera position, 50 miles at 10,000 feet. Size of picture, 14 by 18 miles. Photographed at half normal speed.
which means that if the extra energy absorbed from the sun was merely one part in a thousand extra, merely in the time that you spent watching this video, the extra energy dumped into our atmosphere is that of about one castle explosion. And it's like that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. But so that's just on the hypothetical that the extra energy absorbed from the sun is one part in a thousand extra. Well, I got bad news for you. It's been measured. And the extra amount of energy absorbed from the sun is somewhere between one and two parts per thousand extra. Which means that just in the time that you've been watching this video, the extra amount of energy dumped into our atmosphere is that of about two of the castle 10 megaton nuclear weapons. But that carbon dioxide that we've added to the atmosphere, that's going to be there for hundreds, if not thousands of years. And all of the time, the Earth's atmosphere will be pulling in extra energy from the sun because of it. And because of this, the Earth is now fundamentally a very different place to what it was merely a hundred years ago.